So Father's Day is coming up. We're going to make a really easy data proof pizza. Add 250 grams of flour to a bowl. Then you add half a sachet of quick yeast. Then you add half a teaspoon of salt. Add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Next step is to mix up the dough, either by hand or using a machine. Add about 300 milliliters of warm water. When the dough all comes together in one lump, it's ready. Cover your bowl with cling film, leave for half an hour. Get yourself a punnet of cherry tomatoes because you're gonna make a really simple tomato sauce. If they're on the vine, take them off um, and slice them in half. If big tomatoes are in season, use those, but cherry tomatoes are generally a little bit sweeter, a, bit, a little bit more popular with the kids. You make the tomato sauce by adding one tablespoon of olive oil, sprinkling with salt and roasting for 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Before you take your tomatoes out of the oven, you're putting in a cast iron dish or a baking tray to heat up. Putting your dish in the oven to heat up for a while makes the bottom of your pizza crispier. It's sort of replicating a pizza stone. Now you make your tomato sauce just by mashing up your tomatoes. So when your dough is ready, you form it on a board into a circle. You want to get it as thin as you can. Get your dish out of the oven, drizzle in a little olive oil, add your base. And then you can top with whatever you like. Today I'm sticking with simple mozzarella and basil, but you can add ham, vegetables, sweet corn, whatever you want to the top of your pizza. I think for a fail-safe family pleaser, including dad, uh, you can't beat pepperoni as a pizza topping. If you've got good quality Italian mozzarella, you can just rip it in chunks over the top of your pizza. That's it, ready for the oven. Told you it was really simple. Your pizza takes 20 minutes at 180 degrees. I'm Sarah from The Little Pink Kitchen in association with Super Value. If you make this pizza for your dad on Father's Day, come on over to the Belfast Telegraph Facebook and Twitter page and let us know how you get on.